Hey guys, Jimmy of Vegas here, and today we're taking a look at NASA in the Unity Asset Store, simply called Furnished Cabin. Now, a lot of people do like to have interiors of uh, houses. They, you know, if they're making obviously a game that you can have houses you go into. So I think this asset is actually quite useful for more than just what it looks like. So with that, let's go to the demo scene. There is a nice demo scene. I always love those demo scenes. Uh, so quality wise, I actually think the quality is better than what the images on the asset page actually portrays. I do think it looks nicer than that. Obviously, you can go a little bit further with a lot of these assets and actually make them you know, really in depth and really unique looking. You know, the bricks here, they look a little bit flat. So I guess that's where the versatility and customization comes into it. So obviously this everything in here is customizable to whatever degree you need it to be. Um, you don't necessarily have to stick with how it is. So if we take this uh, fireplace, for example, and if we go to the material, we can change a couple of things here. So if we go to the normal map, and let's just change it from uh, what it is to being grayscale. Click apply. And already we can see that it's got a little bit more depth to it rather than just uh, flat. And obviously, play around with it. You can really do a lot of stuff with it if you want to. So yeah, now that looks kind of cool. Well, if you want that kind of style, at least anyway. Um, so the amount you get in this package, quantity-wise, is actually quite a lot. And I'm really impressed with how much you actually get with this package. I, I, I really like it. It may not be of the highest quality, but that still doesn't mean that it's, it's, it's not worth looking at. Because I really, really think it is. So I am going to press play now. The great thing is we can actually have a little walk around this as well. So rather than pan your camera around, you can actually take a look at what you get with it. If Unity decides it wants to play ball. There we go. So you can see. It's quite nice. So quantity, look, we get all of this. We've got a, a kitchen environment. We got a bathroom environment. Oh, no bath, although. Uh, the living room, fireplace, bedroom. So you could use this in so many different ways. And I really think there is enough content in here to pretty much build an entire town with if you wanted to. You would just have to use your customization a little bit on certain elements, like the sofa here. You could always change the base color of that. I don't know, it's green, change it like that. It's black now. So you would just have to keep in mind that when you are customizing a lot of these things, just be incredibly mindful of everything else that gets affected because the way the textures are set up and the materials, obviously if you change one thing, it changes on others because the sofa itself is also connected to the chairs we can see there. Uh, so I'm going to take the metallic off that for now. And I am going to have it albedo alpha and increase the metallic and decrease the smoothness and yeah okay so we got black sofa now cool uh the fridge freezer you can again just play around with it do what you need to make the normal map do whatever now i love this kind of asset because there is so much to it i mean in the way of extras i don't I, can you class the outside as extras i'm not 100 percent sure because it does say furnished cabin so it's mainly about the furnishings, but you do get all the outside as well, which I guess could be quite useful to some degree. So price wise, it is free right now. Remember, asset prices do change all the time on the asset store. So just keep that in mind. Size is 192 megabytes. So if you're developing for mobile, maybe just be mindful of that size. Uh, otherwise, I would say that's not too bad a size considering what you get here. Obviously, the folders are all neatly laid out. You've got all your prefabs there. You've got animations of a couple of different things. So you've got a door, uh, closets, everything. I guess they could be counted as extras, really. It's, uh, wow, even TV stand. These open as well, it would seem. That's really, really good. I didn't actually spot that when I uh, first went through this asset. That's cool. So, yeah. As you guys know, I don't rate assets. I either recommend them or I don't. I think I'd recommend this to most people. Uh, simply because 
you've got everything you need here to build the inside of pretty much any house. And obviously with your own customization, you can design it any way you like. You're not restricted by just a couple of things. And obviously you can add in different assets as well. But there is enough here to really design a lot. I mean, even inside the fire, you've got the wood there. That's awesome. So yeah, I would recommend this asset to almost anybody who is designing some kind of house interior. So guys, have you used this asset yourself? If you have, let me know what you think in the comments. And if you've got an asset in the asset store yourself, link me to it because I would love to take a look and possibly review it in one of these little review videos. Finally, guys, don't forget, click on that subscribe button and click on that bell icon as well. Because if you don't, you don't get notified. And if you do, you do get notified of all things about video game development that come out on my channel. And I upload almost every single day. Guys, thank you very much for watching.